I must be a saint to overlook what you did last night. Whatever I did, I didn't mean it. Really? Because you um, hit on me at one point. Well, then I'm at that part. There was one other thing. What? Well, you wouldn't tell me. It was something that you regretted, but you refused to talk about it. I don't know. I have to admit, I was intrigued. Oh, flowers and cupcakes. That's a nice touch. I agree. You are lucky you have such a forgiving girlfriend. Don't I know it? <clears throat> so I ran into Brooklyn outside Kelly's. She's lying through her pointy little teeth about drugging Dante. That girl is guilty as sin. I was with Dante last night. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's only because I thought that I didn't have a choice. He was so down and depressed, and I've known him forever, and I've never seen him like that. To be honest, I just, I don't think his relationship with Lulu is as strong as everybody thinks it is. Hmm. He was looking for comfort. I couldn't say no. You don't owe me any explanations. Yeah, I do, Johnny. I don't want you thinking that I'm some slut that goes running after other people's boyfriends. Look, I know Maxie has a tendency to exaggerate things. And she's fiercely protective when it comes to Lulu. Yeah, it's very unnerving to be accused of something like that. Take it from me, all right? Worry about yourself. Don't get caught up in winning any of these popularity contests. You summoned me? Yeah. Let's go inside. Seriously, about Maxie, forget about it. All right, knowing her, tomorrow at this time, she will have forgotten about this and moved on to something else. Hang in there. So, what's this I hear about you picking Johnny out? He's not welcome here. Well, Kelly's is neutral territory. All paying customers welcome. I'm sure if Luke were here, he'd tell you the same thing. I'll take that black coffee now, please. You have no probable cause to take Michael off of his court-appointed work on the county roads. Michael was seen with John's a car at the drive-by shooting. The witness made some vague mention of a big blonde kid, which she later recanted. Both victims of the shooting, John Zakara and Ethan Lovett, said in their statements that Michael did not arrive on the scene until after Detective Falconeri had already gotten there. Your actions are not just prejudicial, they're criminal. Uh, Michael did a great job. Ronnie tried to rattle him, he kept his cool, and he demanded to see his lawyer. Cool. Well, Jason tried standing up for me, but that just pissed off Ronnie more. Look, Jason, you don't have to attack me every single minute. You are free to go. Oh, oh wait a minute, please. what about Jason? The police have the right to hold Jason for questioning, legally. They may actually be able to hold you the full 48 hours. Okay. You didn't even do anything. Well, wait a minute, he asked for his lawyer to be here. You're here, and now why don't they question him? Well, they could if they wanted to, but Detective Domestico wants to drag this all out as long as legally possible. You know, Ronnie doesn't even care that Santos is the one that did this. He wants to frame Jason. Well, I could just make it a short trip and be back in time for the gala. Mm -mm. It's safer to put it off. No, this is about my security. I should be making the calls, right? Cartulo is spending a lot of money on your fabulous self. That means you need to be on the red carpet at the gala on time. Not emailing apologies because you're stuck on some Oh, okay, all right, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. That happened once, uh, twice. Yes. And the second time, you can't blame on me because it's completely random, Typhoons, that's not my fault. <laughs> We need Cartulo's funding. That means you need to be in Rome for the gala. The trip can wait. How long? Until your calendar opens up and, and I can arrange for appropriate security. Oh, see, it is about the security. You just want to put me in front of a bunch of bodyguards that I, I you know, that makes me crazy. I don't Why don't you around. ask Murphy? Maybe you can borrow a couple of hints. Now you're going to throw subtle hints out about how I should marry Murphy. Now we're supposed to share everything? I'm not going to share his bodyguards. If the only thing that's keeping you from wedded bliss with Murphy is an old flame, maybe it's time for some closure. Oh, wow. That is heavy. I mean, I should just stop thinking about him. Why didn't I think of that? How long has it been since you've seen this man? 
seven years last <laughs> February. But who's counting? Well, I just bumped into an old friend in Africa last month, and she suggested that I should call him. Then call him. Call him and wish him well and close the door forever so you can put some closure on it and get on with your life. The, the jackal has arranged his findings into a slideshow to help facilitate Mr. Sir's viewing. The mysterious Brenda is exceedingly lovely. I mean, I'm, I'm sure such beauty is enhanced by photo retouching, but I mean, the photos at the orphanage are pristine. Stone Cold's former wife does truly possess an uncanny beauty. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, go back. Wasn't that that bad actor? What's his name? Murphy Sinclair? He's a screen icon. And, and apparently he is currently in a romantic relationship with the former Mrs. Morgan. I mean, they do make an attractive couple. Okay, just, just, just go. Keep going, thanks. The, the radiance is almost otherworldly. Yeah. Yeah, I can't help but see a striking resemblance between the mysterious Miss Barrett and the, the luminous lady from the computer game Ariel Blaine's Super Spy. They both okay, have... Okay, stop. Just stop. Stop it. Right there. 